Welcome. These, this series of lectures now begins to go into a little bit more detail about each of the sections of the business plan that you <clears throat> want to include or information <clears throat> excuse me, that you want to make sure is included in your business plan, however you decide to organize and, and gather it and present it. This uh, we'll talk about briefly here, the executive summary itself. The most important message about the executive summary is that it is not an introduction. You don't just sort of say, here we are and this is what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, give a little bit of an overview or whatever. The executive summary is what it says. It summarizes the entire business plan from top to bottom. All of your key salient points, what your business is doing, what kind of products and services you have, what your market is, your market plans, market growth rates, what your basic financials look like, all of that should be included in that two-page executive summary. Um, let's talk a little bit more detail about it, but the most important thing I want to get across is you don't just put a paragraph or two of introduction. You summarize the plan. Someone can read it and get all of the information. This is what I'm talking about when I say all of the information. These are the things that you want to make sure you include. You have to have the, uh, the organization of it so that the, um, someone can look at the, the executive summary and kind of understand from it the marketing. You give some details of the marketing. You can go back and look in your marketing section. You talk about your management team, give a little bit of information about it. You can go in and look in the management team, uh, into the management section. You have some, be some high level financials, uh, maybe four years of revenue and four years of, of profit and four years of cash flow. But then you know that you can go into the financial section and those are the exact same numbers, but in much more detail within the plan. Um, you want to provide something so that when an individual who is busy and doesn't really have any reason to read your plan other than for their own purposes, because they want to make, they want to potentially be part of this and make money at it. You want to convince them that indeed this is something worth reading. So you want to make sure that the reader immediately can see what's necessary and wants to go on and look at the rest of the plan. It's so exciting. You've captured the key points. They just want to know more and know that they can trust and understand and believe what you have in the plan. And they want to see more information, more detail to understand it a little bit better. So the plan should be short, not too short, like not just a paragraph. You want to make sure you get all that information in there. That's why I say usually two pages. Uh, but you want to make sure it has all of the core content and the executive summaries that we've talked about in other scenarios are good examples of the kind of data that you want to make sure you describe. All right. Um, you want to summarize your opportunity on all elements. That is all different elements of the business. You want to talk about your products. You want to talk about your service. You want to talk about your operations, your markets, your market plans. You want to talk about your financials. You want to talk about your pricing strategy. You want to talk about your management team. You also want to talk about some milestones and you want to talk about your competition. All of this appears in your business plan, in the executive summary. And all of it is repeated again in more detail in the plan itself. Because it's executive summary does not mean it's not in the plan. It's in both. You're summarizing what's in the plan. Generally, it's first, first thing you do when you open up the business plan is the executive summary. But generally, it would be the last thing that's finalized because you make sure you develop all your plans first and then the executive summary, as it describes, summarizes that plan. So that is what we do in the executive summary. In the next lecture, we'll talk about another section of the plan, often immediately follows the executive summary, called the company description. We'll see you in that lecture.